Hi, my name is Shahid Bashir and in this video I will tell you about the structure of thesis. So while ending the first chapter, a researcher have to write the structure of thesis. So this consists of five chapters. The first chapter discusses the problem statement in the, in the context of research background and then referring to the academic gap it states the research purpose the other sections include research objectives questions scope significance overarching issues and definition of key terms and then the second chapters sorry the second chapter deals with the relevant literature to close the academic gap mentioned in the problem statement so then blah 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 the chapter closes with the conceptual framework and the hypothesis so then the third chapter focuses on methodological aspects of the subject field in line with the studies purpose and hypothesis it explains the need for a quantitative method and blah 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 so the fourth chapter presents the quantitative survey findings and uh, okay statistical tests are executed in fourth chapter to determine support or lack thereof for the research hypothesis and finally the last chapter discusses the extent of the research questions and objectives achieved through the present research so blah 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 and finally the chapter closes with the discussion of the research limitation and future implication so all i have to say this is as precise as possible but at the same time be very clear in terms of your approach of writing the structure of thesis so by structure of thesis you can be able to define where your thesis will go in terms of finding the results Thank you so much. Thanks for watching the video.